Tonight in ice, Alex Valiant is the champ, but Liam Gittens in it tonight for a rematch. Gittens having won under Muay Thai rules previously here. Flyweight mixed martial arts contest. And the crowd really excited to see two young, very technical fighters go at it tonight. Dean in Manchester. Gittings coming with a nice head kick there, pouring out that lead hand, gauging some distance. Very indicative of a Muay Thai fighter, but some nice outside round kicks to set up the shot for Alex Valyandis. The crowd roars as Valyandis takes him down to the floor, looking to pass there into side control. Doing a great job there of keep, oh! Nearly got swept there. Brilliant moves from both fighters, but the 16-year-old in Gittens on his back. Had two recent wins on Budo and Shinobi. And the big question was, what's gonna happen on the feet tonight? Valyandis opting to take it down to the ground. Possible inverted triangle from Liam Gittins. But Alex Valyandis does a great job. Spins from the other side. The scarf hold there from Alex. Holding Keza down, but then opts to go back in to a crucifix here. Alex Valyandis just so highly touted in this matchup. Gittins there, sensing he's in trouble, trying to move around in any which way he can. He needs to sneak those arms back out, gives up the mount in doing so. Nice attempt there, nearly got just short of that mount escape there. Great work by the young 16-year-old on the bottom. But Gittins definitely in defensive mode, definitely in survival mode here. And Valyandis having dispatched some seriously high-level IMAF to competition. Valyandis got some good mount control there. And the IMAF being the International MMA Federation. Sneaking up through the mounted triangle here. Looked him to cinch up the triangle and then roll over to finish it from his back. And this is what we were talking about with Alex Valian. It's just a real treat to watch. Gittings wise to that though. Turns beautifully into a single leg. Oh, lovely takedown, but he's left his head out, Chris. Head outside single. Driving forward is Liam Gittins. Wary of the savvy amateur veteran in Alex Valiandis. Valiandis taking the back here. Got both hooks in. No, excuse me, one hook in, now both hooks. And Valiandis with over double the experience now on his back, looking for the Mataleon. Goes palm to palm, Hidaka Jame, that looks really tight, Dean. Stretching out, Gittings here. He's off, opted to flatten him out. Gittings really needs to start trying to get Valiandis off his back. He can't afford to be stretched out like this. He's gonna take punches now. 10 seconds on the clock. Outstanding escape from Liam Gittins. Gittins really resilient, hand fighting. This is really tight at the end of the round, Chris. Oh my goodness, saved by the bell, literally. Incredible. Twice he went round the neck for Hidaka Jame, but twice Liam Gittins Dean was able to evade an escape. Really resilient with a hand fight in there, in the corner, asking for advice. So impressed from this young fighter, only 16 years old, Chris. Equally impressive, Valiandis. Obviously, a lot of folks knew what both fighters were capable of tonight. We continue into round three at the International Combat Elite.
Another three minutes if necessary as the corners exit. We continue here at ice, ice 10. Making it happen tonight in Manchester, a touch of gloves, and here we go. Wonder if Gittings is actually gonna go for the takedown himself. His corner there telling him to put that jab out and then go underneath the punches of Alex. Problem being there, the uppercut, Valiandis beats him to the level change. Nice 100% there using the, the inside hook there with his right leg also to stabilize himself. But not quite deep enough. He definitely looked for the 100 percenter, but it wasn't quite deep enough. Now had an arm control. It's a standing arm triangle Watch for there. the knees here. Yeah, Once he frees he, his leg. He frames up. Typical tie fighter there. One, two with a 10 to the body. Gittings has really got to pick his kicks. He doesn't want Velandis to grab hold of that leg and turn it into a takedown. Nice body shot there by Gittings. Big over him right. And Gittins definitely looking to exchange with hands and feet. The knee comes in. He pushes away. Yolandes eats a leg kick there. Oh, hey, nice, beautiful leg kicks from Gittings. Really working the angles here, Chris. Taking out that front leg, beautiful kicks. And typical of a Muay Thai striker. And looking finding, for the switch kick. Yeah, he was finding techniques that work and really doubling and tripling up. Quadrupling up, in fact, with that right round kick. Huge takedown for Val Yandis. Nice, pressured forward there. Turned and took the switch, took the fighter, the other side of his body, using the momentum, working for the single hit. Gaunt Gittings, excuse me, Liam Gittings, popping up like a spring. <laughs> and a huge struggle here, possible choke attempt from Liam Gittings. That looks tight there. Going high elbow guillotine. But an outside trip and reply for Val Yandis. Beautiful counter. Next to in jeopardy, though. Val Yandis preempted that and used it for his advantage. Just got to free his head now, and he's going to end up on top in the guard. This could be tight. He seems to be really fighting to get out of this good position, Chris. Gittin let, lets it go. Could turn it into an armbar. Ends up in guard. Gittin's thought about that hip bump sweep there, but now looking for maybe an arm lock off his back. Doesn't see it. Go in figure four for that Kimura on the left arm of Val Yandis. Under a minute to go in the round. Val Yandis, quite rightly so, circling to his left to nullify that Kimura. Opting to take the back. And big brothering him constantly as Val Yandis on the ground. Escaping, powering out of submissions, but still it's not been just brawn, it's been brains. A very educated performance from two youngsters tonight here on Ice Dean. Very technical back and forth battle. Beautiful leg kicks by Gittings. Nice knee there, just misses its mark. I really love how Gittings is able to tee off on the outside, nullify the takedown and blast him with that kick. Typical Dutch style combinations again, goes for the right round kick. That's the seventh or eighth time that's landed, Dean. Huge punches at the bell, but a great back and forth about Dean, the striker versus the grappler. Gittings doing a great job of sprawling, brawling, Chris, keeping the striker standing, is, is preempting those shots, using the head a lot to force Valiandis away from him. But a game performance from Valiandis in reply. Shooting in, Valiandis needs to come back, set up shots to set the takedown up. He really needs to think about going high and low to confuse Gittings so he can't see that takedown so telegraphed. We continue here at ice. Three more minutes, the belt on the line. And Liam Gittin's corner calling for multiple punch combinations, Dean, and then finishing with the kick and then the exit. He's had real success thus far with keeping the fight standing on the outside there, keeping a nice stance, preempting a nice kick there from Valiandes. Eats a one, two and a kick. Beautiful combinations by Gittings. And it would seem Valianis can continue to throw kicks without really worrying about giving up the takedown. But a much better level of control from Liam Gittins on the outside. Charging in is Valianis, committed to the takedown and he gets the slam. Big takedown there from Valianis. Look to him to pass now. He's really going to try and advance his position. 
After eating those leg kicks, he cannot let Gittings back up. Looking to mount here, driving that knee across the midsection of Gittings. Good hit pressure from Veliandes on the top. Nice mount there, beautiful transition to the mount. I was going to say, Veliandes was creating some space to look for Gittings to move. Now hits mount. A lot of shoulder pressure there. I like how Deep is controlling his neck. That's all the way underneath the neck. And Gittins is making this one a scramble fest, but Valiana slows him down. Reaching the midpoint of this round, this position is key. Very, very important times for Valianis. Valianis needs to drag Gittings away from the cage. Gittings doing a great job of scrambling when he needs to, using that ample time to retain the half guard and now try to cage walk. And looking to stand back up is Liam Gittins. Hoping to control him back to the floor. And Alex Valiandis may be committing to a Kimura here, Dean. That looks like he's got the figure four in there. All he needs to do is secure the position. Gittins doing a great job there. He's putting the pressure down on the left side of his body. All he needs to do is reach in with the right arm that he's punching with and pull his own arm out. He's also masking his arm, Dean, by hiding it inside the thigh. But Liam Gittins now has given up that arm, cranking home is Alex Valiandis. Valiandis turning it into a sweep there. Valiandis really needs to s switch his hips out there to his right side to, oh, he's let go of the Kimura. Man, what a fight. Submission attempts, strike fast. We have seen the full spectrum. Watch for the armbar here, Chris. Looking here for Juji Katami in the spider's web is Alex Valiandis. Gittins doing a great job of turning there, sneaking his arm out. He's really got to start to stack up Valiandes. Nice, beautiful escape there by Grant Gittings. Ends up on top, back into the guard. And Liam Gittins now in jeopardy with the Omoplata. Man, I love that kung fu move all the way. But it doesn't work out. The round ends, and that, Dean, is another incredible action-packed three minutes here in this title fight back and forth battles on the ground sweeps attempted submissions it, we have got everything going off here in the cage tonight incredible stuff and as you move into the next round you have to consider dean there's been some serious submission scares from liam gittins he's escaped them but all credit to alex valiandis he's been close a couple of times dean Gittins can't get tempted to go into these submission battles on the floor. He really needs to keep the fight standing and don't bait into the jiu-jitsu game of Valiandes. Well, it's the championship rounds. We move on here in ice. I cannot wait to see the crowd on their feet. Everyone loving it here. It's round four coming right up. And with a touch of gloves, round number four. Gittins on the outside, nice squatted stance. High teeth there from Verlandes. But a nice body shot there by Gittins. And Gittins actually putting him on the back foot, Dean. But that's the problem. If he goes in a little bit too hard, the level change. But certainly a better sprawl from Gittins. His ability to stand up is second to none. Verlandes waits for Gittins to commit and then shoots him with that takedown, but Gittins preempting and standing up beautifully, stalking down Veliandes now. There's a takedown attempt again. Beautiful hip sprawl there. And certainly an improved defensive grappling game from Liam Gittins. Hand fights and look for him to push away here, Dean. Again, pushing at the hips, catches the plum, bangs home with the knee, and he's going to look to separate here in a moment. There we go. Veliandes. Smartly using his footwork, creating angles. He had success doing that before early in the fight. Nice takedown there by Valiandes and a straight pass to side control. And one of the key elements to his performance tonight has been that ability to pass on entry. He catches the takedown, but he's so economical, Dean, to being able to secure side control from that position. He thinks ahead beautifully, not just the takedown, go to the position, side control. Now he's in the back. Chris, he could have the rear neck choke here. Gittins looked like he's in trouble. 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. would this be it? Four rounds deep and the choke all the way underneath the chin. Gittings hand fighting desperately there. Trying to remove the hook of Verlandes. Wow, that looks really tight, Dean. Controlling the shoulder with the left arm. Now going back palm to palm. Oh, this could be it. This is really tight here. The only thing that's saving Gittings is Verlandes is up against the cage as he turns away. So he can arch his back. Look for Verlandes to really pull and start to arch his back. Oh, Gittings strikes out. Huge applause from the crowd. What an outstanding escape. But now switching up is Verlandes. He went from one side of the choking arm to the other. Punching in now. Nice wrist control there by Verlandes. Needs to be careful. He doesn't get hiked too high on the back of Gittings and get bucked off. But he's using the, the hooks beautifully. And Gittins doing a great job of surviving here, but it's definitely been all Alex Valiandis in this round. A huge round for the grappler. Really able to stick to his opponent. Look for him to posture up. Rain down some shots. There we go. Beautiful right hand from Valiandis. Oh, yeah. onslaught of punches. I love how he does that. Onslaught of punches and then goes straight to the base. He bases himself out so he alleviates the sweep there. Incredible. What a performance from both of these athletes. The survival skills, the defense of Liam Gittins, the control, the pressure, the tenacity, the heart, the determination of Valiandis. Never mind that, the heart and determination of Gittins. This is everything you'd want, Dean, in a title fight and everything you'd want to see in the future of MMA. Such a technical back and forth bout. Valiandis, as we saw, getting the better positions, winning the strike, the grappling game, excuse me. And thus far, Gittings having trouble firing off and walking into those shots of Eliandes. And this fifth round is gonna be key if he wants to keep this one on the feet, Dean. He really needs to work that sprawl. He's got good hips. He just needs to sprawl his hips down and be careful not to put his knees down because Verlandes can push him back. Really keep them hips screwed to the ground and be on the, on the tiptoes of his feet. And it's the final round here in ice. The crowd louder than ever. Manchester at fever pitch tonight for the two young athletes duking it out for the belt. It's a rematch of epic proportions. A win for Gittins in the Muay Thai matchup last time around. Tonight, MMA rules. Valiandis, the champ, marches onwards, secures the double leg, and takes his man down. Gittings already looking to stand up there, getting that elbow up. Valandes doing a great job of following him, buckling the, the posture there. Oh, beautiful. I love the way Gittings just springs back up. And Gittins showing off why he's undefeated. Using that deep underhook to stand up and come around. Classic wrestling. Big body kick there, but he's giving up those takedowns. And Valiandis taxing Gittins perhaps here with, as you highlighted, Dean, that relentless onslaught. Guillotine attempt won't be able to finish that one from close guard for Liam Gittins. Gittins again opting to posture up and rain down shots. Valiandis looking for that leg. Gittins wise to it, pulls it out. And the trip for Valiandis, very nice. He's constantly working. That's the thing about Valiandis. Outside trip. Beautiful. Young fighters take note of both of these guys. The skills all around the ring showing off just what the mixed in martial arts is all about. But thus far, particularly in the championship rounds, it's been that constant come forward, always find a way to get it down style of Valiandis, Dean. He's able to suck the life out of his opponent thus far. The grapple inside and the punches there raining down some damage. Villandes just coming up trumps with the timing of ducking under and catching those kicks of Gittings. And Valiandis definitely back on track here with the game plan. Getting his man down to the mat. And I wonder at this point, looking at the clock, Dean, 
Liam Gittins really has to go for it, particularly given what transpired in round four. He's desperately trying to stand up here, but Villander's did a great job of following his body, staying off the hips of Gittings, keeping that pressure down, picking his perfect moments to strike. Go for the armbar here, Chris, but he could have sold himself short because that cage there is one, stopping Villander's from arching back, and two, giving Gittings the opportunity to kick and cage walk their round. I love how he pulled his arm away from the head. Liam Gittins' arm was actually being cranked north of the top of his skull. But now being in this position with 10 seconds on the clock, it's going to be impossible to finish, Dean. Villantes tugging on this arm, opting for this armbar. Getting sent in that stacking. Villantes up as the end of the round. Wow, absolute war. And we've seen some absolutely brilliant back and forth bouts tonight bit dean tonight here on ice the first of the championship fights the barometer has indeed been raised billiandes coming in with excellent grappling skills beautifully timed takedowns gittings chopping away at that leg just did couldn't seem to get off using his striking giving up those legs for the takedown and the cardio of Valiant is just so impressive I and mean, he walks away he looks like he just woke up there, Dean. That was just seriously a real pace he put on for five rounds straight. In this championship rounds, I think that was the deciding factor, the takedowns and the ability to keep that sustained pressure and pace from Valiandes. Well, will Valiandes retain the belt? Has Liam done enough to go 2-0 and his record of combat sports against the champ? Maybe there'll be a rubber match, but there's one thing I know for sure, Dean, you can't fake awesome. And that was a fantastic, outstanding title bout here in the International Combat Elite Fighting Championship. Well,